hey what's up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video i'm gonna be showing you how you can flash the stock rom on your samsung galaxy tab a 10.5 inch 2018 model so yeah let's get started okay so first up let's get all the files ready so head over to the links in the description down below and you will be taken to these pages so first up is the samsung android usb driver click the download button over here to start the download Next up is Patched Odin. Again, I recommend Patched Odin over Normal Odin. So scroll down a little bit and here you will see all the downloads. Download the latest version. Just click on it and the download will start. Next up is the Samsung firmware. SamFW.com is a good website as it offers maximum download speeds. So here you need to enter in your Samsung Tabs model number. So mine is SMT590 and as you can see it is listed over here. I'm gonna click on that scroll down and here you need to choose your tab CSE if you don't know your tab CSE then you can head over here on to the other tools drop down menu click on it and then click on check IMEI and here you can enter your tabs IMEI or serial number and you can easily get to know the CSE code of your tab so I know my tab CSE so I'm just gonna go ahead and select it directly so my tab CSE is United States XAR again yours might be different you need to check accordingly so I'm gonna click on that and scroll down and download the latest build so the latest build for my tab is CVG5 so I'm gonna click on it and then here you will see a couple of links which you can use to download the firmware you can choose any link to download the firmware I'm not gonna download it as I have already downloaded it so once you have downloaded all the files we can exit out of the browser okay so once all the files are downloaded you need to first install the samsung android usb driver it's just a normal setup wizard you can install it easily i'm not gonna install it as i have already installed it next up let's extract these two zip files the odin flashing tool and the samsung tabs firmware so first up let me extract the odin flashing tool again you can use any extracting software to extract them and also the samsung firmware this is gonna take some time as the firmware is big alright once it is done extracting we can load the firmware in the odin flashing tool so head over to the extracted odin folder and then open the odin3.exe file double click on it and it's going to open select ok on this warning page so now we need to load uh, the files into the slots so first up is the bl file so click on the bl button over here and then browse to where you have stored the uh, firmware which we just extracted so mine is on desktop i'm gonna choose desktop head over to the folder where the firmware is extracted and then because we pressed on the bl button you need to double click on the file which starts with bl so i'm gonna double click on the file which says bl in the beginning and like that you need to do it for the rest of the slots second one is ap so i'm gonna choose the one which starts with ap so i'm gonna click on that and again this might take some time to load as it is the main system os Alright, once the AP file is loaded, we can head over to the CP file next. Now, if you observe over here, there is no CP file because this tab is a Wi-Fi only tab. So only if your tab or any other device supports uh, any kind of SIM card or LTE or something like that, only then you will have a CP file over here. So because my tab does not have a CP file, I can skip it and i will have no issues so let's move on to the next one which is the csc so i'm gonna click on the csc button over here and then select a one which says only csc in the beginning not the home csc now if your tab is like you know really showing some issues and you really wanna you know give it a fresh start you can actually load the PIT file over here and then in the options tab you can select NAND erase and repartition. Now this is a very risky thing to do because uh, what you're essentially doing is you are rewriting the NAND memory, the uh, NAND flash memory on your tab. So if anything goes wrong you might lose your uh, serial number or your tab can straight up get bricked. 
So only do this if you want to really give a fresh start to your tab. So I would like to give my tab a fresh start. So what I'm going to do is to get the PIT file. You need to open the folder which is containing the tabs firmware. Copy the CSC file to somewhere else. Okay, so next what you need to do is you need to rename the file and then you need to remove the .md5 text in the uh, ending of the file name. So what you should end up with is the .tar file. So you should end up with .tar in the end. Once you have renamed it properly, hit enter. This warning might pop up. You can click on yes. And now you can open the zip file easily using any extracting tool. And here you need to copy the one which says gta 2 xl wi eur open.pit. Basically the file ending with .pit. Just drag and drop it into the rest of the firmware files for easy access. And then in the Odin software you need to head over to the PIT tab. Click on the big PIT button and then browse to where you have extracted the uh, .pit file. Once you have done that you need to just double click on it and it's going to load the PIT file over here and then head over to the options tab and then select the NAND erase box. Make sure the first four boxes are checked. Now again this is only if you want to give your tab a really good you know fresh start. If you're just uh, refreshing the firmware again you don't have to do this. Okay so once we have done all the things which we need to do in the Odin flashing tool we can head over to a tab and set it up. Okay so now let's prep our tab. So first thing what you need to do is you need to log out of all the accounts whether it may be a Google account any account. Just log out of uh, all of them. We can always log back in later. So as you can see I have logged out of all the accounts. Next what you need to do is you need to switch off your tab. And once the tab is uh, switched off you need to boot the tab into the download mode. So to boot the tab into the download mode what you need to do is you need to uh, press and hold the volume up and the volume down button both the volume buttons. And then you need to connect the USB cable to your PC. So let me do that. Okay, I'm gonna press and hold the volume up button and the down button. And now I'm gonna connect it to my computer. Uh, looks like I didn't press the buttons properly. It's showing the charging sign. Let me unplug it and do it again. All right, the volume up button and the down button. And connect the USB cable. And as you can see we are in download mode now. Now we need to press the volume up button to continue. And now we are in download mode. So let's head over to our PC again. Okay so once the tab is in download mode. Uh, once you connect the USB cable. The device should pop up. So yeah. In either of these blue boxes. It's showing two devices for me. Because I am using uh, one device to record the tabs uh, screen. So for you it should show only uh, one and uh, any of the boxes should get filled that means that the device is detected. So once you have uh, checked all the files so once you have made sure you have properly loaded all the files especially the PIT file. As you can see I haven't yet loaded the PIT file let me do it. Options and arrays. So yeah once you have made sure you have uh, loaded everything you can go ahead and press the start button. And now all you need to do is you have to wait for the flashing process to complete and your tab will automatically restart and then set everything up and take you to the setup screen. So as you can see uh, my tab was the second device. So yeah that means the one which says zero over here is the phone which I'm using to record the tab screen and the one which says one over here is the tab. So yeah now it's just a waiting game you have to wait until the process finishes and the tab boots into the setup screen. Okay so once it says pass in this box that means the flashing process is completed successfully and now the tab is going to automatically restart and then boot into the OS. 
now the first boot will take some time as it is the first time uh, booting the new oper operating system so yeah again you will have to wait for it to boot looks like it is booting it's saying slow charging because the usb cable is connected into my pc i think you can go ahead and disconnect it let it uh, come to the setup screen then we'll disconnect the usb cable and okay Let's look get started. oh Let it's the voice assistant okay so now you can uh, go ahead and disconnect the usb cable so i'm gonna do that all right now uh, yeah this is basically the stock rom i'm gonna go ahead and quickly set it up So yeah guys this is the stock ROM so yeah this is how you flash the stock ROM on your Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.5 inch 2018 model so as you can see Android 10 One UI 2.1 so this is the stock ROM so yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video goodbye.